I'm very excited about this product. This is called the M5 Stack Faces Development Kit. And I've played with a few things that M5 Stack makes and this looks really cool. So let me open it up. Comes with a little plastic case with a little latch on the side and uh, packed in some foam. And we're gonna kind of pull everything out at once here. So what this is, is this little unit here, let's see how the screws are in. This little unit here, I'm gonna pull it apart. It's it's a little, oh, there we go. So this is the M5 stack and there's they make a separate base for this and this can be used standalone. It has a power button on the side, USB-C, uh, some pins over here. It's got the ESP32 in here. Uh, there's an SD card slot and a little speaker and all kinds of stuff. There's a little battery connector in here and, and access to the pins. And the idea of this is that it is a ESP32 with all the trappings of ESP32, touch sensors or Hall effect sensors and, um, you know, the, the dual cores and Bluetooth low energy and Wi-Fi and all that stuff pre-packaged in a really nice looking case with speakers and screens and buttons and all that kind of stuff and then what they did is they decided to take it a step further and so uh let me let me just keep opening this stuff up and show you what we got here so we have this game boy thing and we have this calculator thing and this keyboard thing and we'll leave this stuff off to the side for a second but basically these little things come off oh, oop, and they you do tend to throw them around a little bit uh but there's this base here is part of the faces kit and it has the uh, battery and like a place for all these modules to clip together so you can interchange you can go from keyboard to game boy to calculator just by popping these little modules on here and everything is obviously mapped out so that you know you, you don't have to figure out the buttons and stuff like that it's already done for you and so what makes this kit really cool is that when you're done, as you snap this back on here, when you're done, you get a very nice, which there's, there are screws to hold these things in place, but uh, you get this very nice package that looks like, you know, it looks incredible. I mean, it, it's a solid, you know, it, it's obviously some kind of maker tool, but you have something that looks clean. You can play games with a real controller. You can do real <laughs> calculator buttons. You have your plus and your minus and your clear and all that kind of stuff. And then there's a full QWERTY keyboard. And so, I mean, this is this is some pretty cool stuff. And so I have a really cool project that I want to do with this. And that's why I'm sitting here holding this thing. And uh, let me show you one other thing. The charger. So the charger has another USB-C port on the bottom. And it's a magnetic. I'm not going to try to hold it upside down. But it's a magnetic base so when you're charging it you kind of have this little docking station that just snaps right in place and so uh, just to continue showing you what's in the box here we have the USB-C cable there is a uh, what do they call it like a wrist strap type thing a lanyard maybe um, and then there's the allen wrench to put the screws on the back and some DuPont wires and then I think this is pretty cool too there's some extra stickers if you want to you know, re change your keyboard or anything like that so what's the use case for this so the use case for this is there's a couple things one is i like the idea of taking this thing by itself and making a little pocket size um, device so one thing i've done with these in the past is something like qr code so let's say you have a restaurant that has a qr code promotion or whatever you could have something like this up on the counter and people could scan it and immediately once they scan it you could make api calls and stuff because you have an esp32 and then you could change it and give a unique qr code for the next person or you know there's just a million different things you can do you can play tetris you can you can turn it into a little portable debugging thing where you could hook up <coughs> excuse me you could turn it into a little portable debugging thing where you can hook an arduino up to it and you can use this to read the serial you can uh, I mean, there's really just no limit. Your creativity is about the only limit to what you could do with something like this. So I'm going to see, I, I have an idea. I haven't built it yet. I literally just unboxed this one, but 
I have an idea of something I could build for my bathroom of all places that I think would be would be pretty fun. I think this is the perfect ESP32 for that. So I'm going to play with it a little bit and I'll come back and give you some further opinions, but so far, so good.